Imagine a place serene, tranquil, and peaceful. A place of weightlessness. A world as old as time and as new as a dream. Behold this beauty as our story unfolds. spend their time tending to their undersea gardens. They offer food to the fish who eat right out of their hands. It's a wonderful place to live, and usually uneventful. But today is not an ordinary day, for everyone in the kingdom has gathered for a visit about to celebrate her 15th birthday. And it will be a very festive event indeed, filled with laughter, song, and dance. Let's celebrate, everyone!
celebrate in every way. All you creatures of the sea, come on and dance and sing with me. Our mermaid, lots of cheer. Our 15 birthdays, a special day. We celebrate in a special way. Special party too, a celebration just for you. We'll have lots of fun and food. It's a special time for you. sit on a rock bathed in the moonlight and search for the land creatures like the statue in her garden of which she's heard many a tale. She gazes at her statue and dreams of a world that awaits her above the waves and in her heart she hopes the statue is how a human prince will look. And the little mermaid is heard to say, My statue is different because it has legs. I wonder what it would be like to have legs Instead of this tail, now is my chance to go to the surface and see. Saying goodbye, she begins her ascent. As she nears the surface, something strange and unexpected happens. A sailor's lights are like for me. Yo ho, yo ho. Oh, oh, she can hear laughter and singing from above. She just had to discover the source of this merriment, so up she went, bubbling with joy and anticipation. What could be happening up there? Above, a frightful storm had struck. The water rose like great black mountains over the ship's decks. It tossed the ship to and fro. In fact, he looks so, so helpless. Immediately, the little mermaid wanted to help him. He can't breathe. He is not of the sea like us. Why, he will surely die. The little mermaid rushes to his rescue and gives him the breath of life. She kisses his brow, his eyes open, his surprise. They hover in the sea, staring at one another. The prince is captivated by the little mermaid's beauty. <laughs> she starts to dart away, and he grabs her hand. Do you believe in love at first sight? They do. They spin and twirl and play together in the sea. to let her prince go made is so sad. 
Now more than ever, she wants legs. The only one she can tell is her wise old friend, Chester the Sea Turtle. Without hesitation, she takes a sip. I know what she wants, silly little creature. She wants to change her tail into two legs like her prince. One drink of my potion, her tail will disappear, and she will have legs. All who see her will say she is the most beautiful child of the sea and land. Ha ha ha, but not without paying a great price. I will take her beautiful voice. I want it. I will have it. Now! So the sea witch took the little mermaid's beautiful voice. She begins her journey back to the sea kingdom. As she swam away from the dark cavern of the sea, she longed to see her handsome friends.
twisting and twirling. The prince drives the sea witch further and further back toward the raging whirlpool. The sea witch is swallowed by the whirlpool and vanishes into the cavity of the sea. With the sea witch gone, the little mermaid's voice was returned. The prince had won, thus saving the underwater kingdom for all to live happily ever after. Now is the time to rejoice and celebrate. Creatures of the land and sea, come join in the frolic of song and dance. You know, there just might be a wedding the likes of which you've never seen in the sea kingdom. The Little Mermaid Sisters And the stars of our cast, The Prince and the Little Mermaid And the entire cast of Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid